Hey everyone, Evelina Damore here. How are you guys going? I just filmed a get ready with me. So if you like this look, please keep watching. I will show you from the very beginning and I did do um, foundation this time. Some of you just asked, hey, show me how you're doing that. I do talk and let you know all of the products that I use throughout the video. And as always, I give you some updates on exciting future collaborations when all the samples are going to arrive. So if you like this look, keep watching and I will see you at the end. I normally don't do foundation with you guys because it, I don't know. There's so many people out there that do it, you know, it's kind of boring. Boring. but I already had the camera set up so I thought why not to prime honestly I I don't notice a huge difference in doing this but everyone seems to do it so I'm just you know following everyone matte veil by Illamasqua it smells delicious I could just eat that whole jar still had a sleepover last night at grandma's for the first time so I think I look really well rested because um he didn't wake me up during the night to come sleep in our bed yay so just going to do a simple black kind of look on the eyes, um, winged eyeliner kind of shading. And I'm going to use this new, I think the brand oh, is probably vinyl because that's what it says on here. <laughs> but it's the Death Candy, um, one of the two in the duo that she's released. If you don't know who Death Candy is, um, go check out her profile on Instagram. That is the gorgeous lady that I designed the coffin wallet for that will be out very soon. Okay, what to do next? Foundation, I really, really, really want to try Kat Von D's Locket Foundation. I'm yet to. I already know what shade I am because my best friend Lisa um, used that on me when she did the Get Ready With Me, <laughs> which was hilarious if you haven't seen that. I'm probably one darker than the one she used because what she put on my face made me look like a fucking ghost. <laughs> I like looking white, but not that white. Holy fuck. Um, so what I'm doing here is just mixing two shades. Um, one is Clinique, even better in Alamasca or 01. That's a lighter shade that they do. I've already done this in another video and I mix it with um, Stargazer. It's just their white, like it's pure white. Um, and I actually bought that for the boys um, when they were performing live with As Angels Bleed as stage makeup. Um, which look really cool. Obviously, I don't know, maybe some people are pale enough to just use that on their skin. I'm certainly not, um, but I mix it in because this one is too dark. Yeah, so my fucking point is, I hope this is focusing. That's not my point. My point is, <laughs> what is my fucking point? I, I really want to try a Kat Von D's Locket Foundation once this runs out. Um, and I also have a new microphone, so hopefully, touch to this camera, the audio quality is better and you're not hearing that annoying D -d 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 when this new crazy big ass camera that I've got auto focuses. So all the way through my recent ones, I'm just hearing I'm like, dude, fucking relax. I can still hear that, but hopefully you are not. Yeah, I bought a Rode microphone. It was only $80, so I thought, shit, I will try that and see how it goes. I put a little mini bedroom tour on Instagram if you haven't seen that already. So many people are complaining about Instagram and that new algorithm and I haven't been on Instagram that long. So and my profile seems to be going up, so that's good. But um, maybe it would be going up more if they didn't do whatever they're fucking doing. My stories are doing well. They get like about 1500 views, which is awesome. I love putting in the footage of the kids and stuff. They're so cute. I just want to die. It's awfully quiet at my house today because both my children, oh my God, are at daycare. Last week, London started just one week for socialization. He cried last week, but <laughs> apparently this week, drop off was completely fine. So that's lovely. But mainly it gave me time to blow dry my hair, <laughs> which I haven't done in like a year. Um, and then I might straighten it and then I could film like without. It's lovely to have steel in all my videos, but sometimes it gets super annoying. And I already have problems finishing my train of thought so it's nice to not be interrupted and just chat with you and just <laughs> deal with my own thoughts oh i didn't make enough i hate when that happens i also posted on instagram a story instagram stories i'm gonna have to make more um a poll if i should do like a voting poll a live video ah i think i will film it when fuck my life stop doing that you little fuck sorry is it in focus I'm gonna fast forward all this shit out. If I should do a live Instagram stream, feed, whatever you wanna call it, stream is probably the best word, when all the new bags arrive. I'm talking about Death Candy's coffin wallet, Mahafsoon's handbag and wallet, the Goblin Queen's handbag and wallet, the full size, it's Black Friday, 
handbag and her version 2 clutch. Have I forgot anything? Oh yes, Beatrice Mariano's inverted pentagram with spike bag. That's a lot of bags. I've never had that many samples arrive in one go and I think I'm gonna fucking squeal when they come. So yeah, 97% of you said, yeah, let's do it. Cause I get so excited and my voice goes so high. And I'm like, oh my God, did I do that? It's kind of like an out of body experience. Like you design it and then, you know, it's very different to see something like a two dimensional mock-up of it. I even try to do three dimensional mock-ups of it um, in Photoshop. Like I've learned to give my manufacturers as much guidance as possible because then they can't fuck it up or if they do, it's not my fault. <laughs> and they have to remake it. Wait before, if there's some confusion about, and I've left some of the descriptions, like if I've left them wanting, then they say, well, you weren't clear enough. So I give them so much fucking information now. I think they might hate it. <laughs> but the Beatrice, like every recent bag that they've made, Beatrice, Mariano, all of the ones I just mentioned, look exactly like my mock-ups, which is what you want, you know? And after the first sample as well, my company's getting really good. Really good, I mean, at making samples right the first time. You know, the Riri bag, they had to remake three times. Cause I'm like, dude, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, change this, the color is not purple. That's fucking lilac. And there we go. I hit myself with this fucking thing until I look beautiful. And that's how we do foundation. Boom. Stay hydrated, people. All right, powder. Maybelline Matte Maker. Ooh. Seriously, I'm retarded. I hope the quality is better. It looks really clear. I love that you can see. Focus. My bed in the background there. Starting to use my room a little bit more because it's getting closer to being finished. I can include it in like the backgrounds of my videos, which was the whole point of turning a room you know, into like a bedroom slash a photography set. So I can shoot my bags or clothing or whatever I'm, I'm working on. Yeah, so by the time this video is out, the, all those sample bags that I mentioned may be on their way to me. Okay, let's do eyebrows. I have been using Wonder Brow. Have you heard of this? Uh, they advertise a lot on Instagram. And yeah, I decided to bite the bullet and try it because I wasn't happy with what I was doing. I wanted a more defined brow. I bought Jet Black and as soon as I did it, I do the thing that I do where I question everything. I question my decisions. And I'm like, oh, I should have got black brown. It's going to be too black. Don't worry. It's fine. It looks really dark, but because you like spread it out, you know, I was worried it was going to look like tattooed brows, which I really don't like. But it doesn't, you can get a really defined like outer brow and then you just blend it so it's um like a soft black. Okay, let's try this out. So I've got an angled brush, it's really, there we go. Really fine angle, see that? Yeah, so that's what you need. I always get so nervous, even though like you guys aren't here with me, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fuck it up. Here we go, I need a pluck. I'll just ignore that for now. Don't put too much product on, like what I just did. I might fast forward this because I can't speak to you as I'm doing this. It's like with eyeliner as well. There's no way you're going to get anything out of me. It does kind of dry quickly. So you must work with haste. That's not even the shape I wanted. Does anyone else think eyebrows look really weird until you do the rest of your makeup? <laughs> I do. Okay, I'm just popping down some primer. I use Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. If you haven't used one before, try it. They really make your eyeshadows. Like the true pigment of the color. If you've ever used eyeshadow and put it on your eye and gone, it looks nothing like what it is in the pack. You probably need to use a primer. If you're wondering where my nails are, they broke last night, well, the thumb did. Then I took the other ones off to give them a little rest and then I have to redo them pretty soon because it's amazing how quickly you become used to having long nails and yeah, I feel like my fingers just look like little, little pointless stubs without them now. <laughs> okay, now I'm just using probably exclusively today, I will use the Metal Matte Palette by Kat Von D 
It's one of my favorite go-to palettes. I'm getting too many palettes that, you know, I didn't do my makeup enough. I don't have enough time to use them all. The very lightest white color, Linen, is one that I go to a lot um, just to put under the brow, make it pop. So yeah, there's a lot happening. I feel, oh, there we go with this so yeah again. So yeah, I feel like I'm in a better place. I need to remember as well, like when, when I was feeling really out of control a little while ago, the Black Friday clutches had come, had just come in, they had arrived. And it was just before Christmas and like things were busy. And I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna handle this? It doesn't stay like that. I need to remind myself, you know? And it's really only when a bulk shipment arrives that it's like crazy for a week. It's just that week, it seems to go on forever and ever and ever. And I'm like, fuck, how am I gonna do this by myself? But I've got someone to help me now, so that's good. And it's not like that forever. Yay! I will be able to announce the date very soon. Whoops! That I'm going to Los Angeles. It will be confirmed as of tomorrow, so I will. Yeah, announce those. Um, I am chatting with some of my collaborators. I don't want to say who. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's three or four that we're trying to all get together and do something fun where we like vlog and go to Universal Studios and obviously do some videos together on the handbags because they'll be out, they'll be available. So it'll be so lovely to do actually some videos in person with these girls that I adore. It should be fun. A lot of fun things coming up actually. A few other things I can't announce just yet. Another girl I've started speaking to, a lovely girl that I adore. I'm gonna say this wrong. Is it Willoweth? Viola, she's got lovely, I don't know if it's natural, peroxide white or naturally white hair. Very witchy, I love her look. Anyway, she's keen to, to do something, so when I get a free second, I need to um, start working on that. There is a few other people that I've contacted but haven't heard back from. I try not to get disheartened by that because I realize that they probably just didn't get the email. You know, it took a really long time with many of my collabs and I had to try different methods to contact them and kind of get creative and stuff. Because, you know, as soon as you've got, I think, above 50,000 followers on any platform, the amount of contact you get really increases. And it's hard to stay on top of all that. I just, I don't take it personally now. And now a lovely thing is starting to happen where people are just contacting me. <laughs> They're like, hey, do you want to collab? And um, yeah, I can't work with everyone, obviously. I think as my brand is building, I need to be quite selective. I need to obviously be a fan of the person myself, I think. I'm never just going to work with fucking random people that I don't myself admire or respect or just like their style or whatever. But yeah, it's lovely to have it be the other way around. It's still all too white, isn't it? We need some darkness in there. Blah. All right, I'm going to use the color glitz, which is just, I will just show you. That one there, it's like a kind of soft glittery peach. I just want something really skin tony to just put on my lid because I'm going to keep it quite open. Because I have small beady eyes, everyone tells me. <sighs> you have really small eyes, I know. Thank you, thank you for making me aware of the fucking obvious. Sorry, touched a nerve there. Can't control the size of my eyes. I do like to try to put makeup on that um, makes them larger, so falsies is a must for me. I like keeping this open, shading the sides and then winged eyeliner. That seems to work the best for me. I do also like a full smoky eye, but I feel like I need really good lighting so you can still see my tiny little eyeballs. And that's what I did in the Black Friday wallet video that I did recently. I went for a really heavy look, but I think it worked okay. But yeah, without, without the correct lighting, my eyes just kind of disappear. And that's fine. We're all different. That's the fucking point. Imagine if we're all the same clones, that would just be super boring. Who would you want to look like if you were a clone of someone? I think my eyeshadow primer is getting a bit old. It starts to go really flaky. I remember I said that myself in one of my last videos. So I'm like, get ready with me or something. And like, if it doesn't go on smoothly, it's probably old. That's what's happening to me. Okay, let's start with the black. Yay! I should really clean my brushes more. So now I'm going to use a crease brush. It's covered in probably a, a cream eyeliner that's not going to help. So I'm going to start with Stone in the Kat Von D palette, which is the second darkest um, shade. It's like a stone black, <laughs> hence the name. And then I'll go in um, with the Jet Black for even more definition, and then I'll pop it with eyeliner and then more lipstick, highlighter, contouring, fuck, lashes, and then we're done. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no wonder I don't have time to do this every day. Is that even in focus? Focus, motherfucker. Mm, it's so quiet in my house. I fucking love it. 
last night, guess what I did? Oh my God. Bon finally got me in the studio and we recorded some vocals for my band as Angels Bleed. If you haven't heard of us, after you watch this video, pop in as Angels Bleed in that search tab in YouTube and yeah, listen to our album. You can buy it on iTunes. You can buy physical copy from my website, which I'll sign for you, anyone that buys it. Yeah, we spent a lot of money, a lot of time on that album. If you're into... It's nothing like any of these bands that I'm going to mention, but if you like them, you will probably like our music. Um, Within Temptation, Epica, Him, Nightwish, uh, Typo Negative. Did I say Evanescence? We're nothing like Evanescence, only the fact that like I'm a girl and she's a girl. We both have uteruses, but apart from that... <laughs> okay, there's the symphonic metal, but they're not as symphonic as I would say we are. So we had a full orchestra um, in our songs that both of Vaughn and I, I want to say notated, that's the wrong word. I should know this. Let's just say, we just orchestrate it, whatever the fucking word is, it doesn't matter. Point is, everything you're hearing on that album is Vaughn and I, you know? It was a really special album that we worked a long time on. It's very vampiric, it's very gothic. It's basically the soundtrack to one of my handbags. So if you, <laughs> if you have, it's a soundtrack to my life. If you have one of my handbags, Put the album on, get gothed up and listen to it. We'll put it on at the next club you go to or something. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I'm trying to get a bit of a cat's eye. See how that really opens up my eyes already? It's just an illusion, baby. In the studio, we are doing, this is why my voice is a bit husky. Um, we are doing a cover of The Sisters of Mercy, This Corrosion. Don't expect it to be electro pop though, we're changing it up. I'm super excited that both my Instagram and YouTube channel are about to hit 10,000. That's a pretty big milestone for me. Thank you for subbing if you're new. Let me know in the comments what kind of content you would like to see. Obviously there's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of launch videos for all the new products coming out pretty soon. And like I said, if I'm in Los Angeles in April, then April, May, there'll be a lot of um, videos possibly with some of the girls I'm working with. That will be fun. Something different for my channel. Getting that thing again where I don't feel confident with what I'm doing because like it's it's probably been two weeks since I put my makeup on. God, I wish I could do it every day. I just don't have that time. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. It's actually a lot darker than what the camera's showing. It's just I've set the aperture up. I tried some custom settings on the um, camera today and I think I might need to pop the blacks a little bit. All my Killstar items have arrived that I've been ranting on about for some time now. Excuse me. Does anyone else go completely nuts when you're in the middle of something like a conversation or doing your makeup and the phone rings? I'm like, fuck, what the fuck do you want, you fuck? <sighs> I need to work on that. I go from like zero to a hundred really quickly. Always blow on your brush before when you, after you dip it in, before after you dip it, uh, after you dip it into the, the dark eyeshadow, I still get fallout and I forget to wipe it off. It's, it's so hard to get a clean result. Can you hear that? It's nothing. It's complete silence. God, I miss that. Like, I love my kids to death. But everybody needs a bit of fucking silence every now and then, right? So you don't go crazy. Yeah, it's time for a new primer. See that little dark spot? You ain't supposed to be there. Finally. Okay, now I'm going to dip into Jet. Blow on it. Darken up that crease. And then we need to hurry the fuck up. We don't have all day. We don't. I, I'm already getting anxious because this is taking too long and I want to film like five videos today, which is not unrealistic. <laughs> not at all. Might be a little bit unrealistic. Hey, I'm up for the challenge. I like challenges. I love unrealistic deadlines. Design 16 new handbags at once, someone said. <laughs> okay, sounds like fun. Let's do it. Fucking mistake that was. Oh. Stress brought on by myself. Hello. Just going underneath the eye. Kind of lost interest. <laughs> so I'm trying to hurry up. Now I'm just putting some sparkly metallic silver, which is the shade Tinsel in the Kat Von D palette, in the inner corner of my eye. Just so when I take photos, I've got a bit of bling happening there. I really like how that looks. Mascara. I always forget mascara. And then I put on my false lashes and I'm like, Arr! you can see the natural ones. Fucking idiot. Okay, not too bad. Can you guys see the lashes if I come in? I 
feel like I need to back, be back here for the focus to work. I like when you get the separation of the lower lashes. That was good. Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I have a lot of Maybelline. Okay, let's, um, I need to get my contour brush. I need to get the contour. Fuck, need to get the highlight. All right. We were really prepared for that segment. Here, I use Emote, a really kind of dark brown. Don't know why someone would use that as a blush. I don't like to go too nuts with it. Yeah, I'm using Inglot Sparkling Dust Face Eyes Body Black in their lightest color. I don't have time for this packaging. I think I would prefer uh, like a hard pressed, like I used to use um, some MAC one and you just rub the brush into it. I don't have time for these little stupid powder things. Glow bitch. Oh, if only we didn't have to do lashes, we would almost be done. Okay, I'm going to do lips now. Did I just take up some foundation there? Yes, I did. So again, this is the Death Candy Duo, a collaboration between Death Candy and Vinyl Cosmetics. Let's see how this color looks. The consistency is really nice. It um, reminds me of Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. It's really easy to work with. I find um, the newer Lime Crime stuff is quite liquidy in their um, velveteens and it makes it harder to work with. This is a lovely color though. It's like a witchy, plummy kind of. <laughs> Let's just go with a witchy plum. But in all. All right, yay, we're nearly finished. Let's do false lashes. And then we are almost done. What a difference. Okay, now last time when I did my Christmas get ready with me, this squirted all over me. You naughty little bottle of glue. <sighs> Hopefully it won't happen again. This can make or break my look. What I mean by that is like they, they totally make my look but I can break it by fucking it up and then I get the glue everywhere. It's been like a decade. You'd think I'd know what I'm doing now, but sometimes they just go plop and they are perfect. Other times I need to really work at it. I forgot eyeliner. Idiot. I don't know. Should I try to put eyeliner over the top of this? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. How could I forget that? Seriously. Out of practice, people, out of practice. Do it the other way around, trust me. It's much easier. Now I've got to deal with the lashes. I could just pull them off, but uh. Okay, we'll try it, we'll try it. Don't talk to me, okay? Don't even look at me. Uh, uh, uh. Let's pull them off. It's not really much of a get ready with me, is it? When I say, I can't talk to you when I'm doing my eyebrows. <laughs> I can't talk to you when I'm putting on my lashes. I also can't talk to you when I'm doing eyeliner. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, folks. That makes my eyes pop more, doesn't it, than less. I'm glad I went back and did that. Okay, I just did the other eye. Now we will attempt lashes. Again, you make the best tea, Von. He's been making me tea for as, as long as I've known you, really. It's a long time. 18 years. Wow. Oh, how annoying. Okay, I got that lash on without too much drama. Yay. Let's see if the other one goes on just as easily. 
Some things are so much easier with nails and other things <laughs> are completely impossible. Like the other day I put on a um, Killstar choker that I was wearing and I could not get the bloody buckles undone at the back, the clasp. <sighs> Seriously, I nearly had an aneurysm. <laughs> He's like, can you calm down? I'm really frustrated. Can you just help me, please? <laughs> and then he got it in like one second. I'm like, oh. That worked pretty well. Yeah, yeah, that's the finished look. Hour and a half later. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So now I'm off to film two more videos and do a whole bunch of photo shoots today, which will be fun. I will probably film that kill style haul that I've been talking about for ages and probably a Depop try on. I just had a whole bunch of stuff arrive that I bought from different people. The next few months are going to be very exciting for my channel. I obviously have a bucket load of bags coming out, uh, videos where other people might be joining me, some exciting things that I can't announce quite yet, but things are happening. So please press that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thank you for being here and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.